Hey, this tutorial I'm going to cover how to insert standardized content into our assemblies in Onshape. What do I mean by standardized content? Um, standardized content based on the one, the unit standard, whether it's ANSI inches or ISO for metric, but what we're inserting is standardized bolts and screws, standardized nuts, standardized pins and studs, standardized retaining O-rings and washers. Um, so things of that nature. Um, and it's this is really simple. We can um, add just about any kind of standardized content by when we hit the insert button, um, instead of adding another part from our files in our document, we're going to go to standard content here. And from here, we can insert based on one of the standard, um, ANSI inches or ISO, depending on which, those are the two we'll be using for inches, ANSI inch, and then for metric, we'll use ISO. So for this example, we're we'll gonna use ISO. Um, this is an M8 thread on this, um, this assignment, um, it's from the first lab, it's the pipe strap lab. This, um, this strap itself here um, has an M8 um, thread on it. So we're going to need to insert an M8 nut for this on the on the bottom of this uh, assembly. So we have the standard set ISO. If you were doing an imperial, you use ANSI inch. But for this example, ISO category, we have some examples for bolts, screws, nuts, and earrings. So we want to add some nuts um, and what type of nuts. So we can do the class hex nuts, hex nuts with fine pitch. Uh, we're going to just do traditional hex nuts here. And then we get the component standard. Um, and so this information should be listed on the lab itself. It wants an ISO M8 screw, the 1.25 threads per inch, nut grade C is what it is, ISO nut grade C. So we're going to set nut grade C, ISO, good. So we have the other options here. But for this example, we need a nut grade C, the size M8 thread, they have different thread sizes. Again, this is about the major diameter is 8 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 12, and so on. We need an M8 screw. Um, we can set the type of the material as well. Um, for this, it's set to hardened carbon steel, hardened carbon steel plane. Um, this part number should be there standard because I have set it as what needs to be for this part that you're going to insert because I am the manager of um, on shape for our school I'm able to standardize part numbers and I've standardized it and if it yours for some reason isn't you can always edit it edit the company user part properties for this configuration but it should have this set in as long as it's set the M8 ISO grade C hardened carbon steel finishes plane it should default to this being the part number, which is what's listed here in the lab. Um, and the description should be set too, because I have previously set the description for this um, hex jam nut in our um, in our company or it, for our school in Onshape. And then it's real simple. We'll hit insert here. And then we actually get the insert here and I can insert two of these for now there we go and then we hit check and then we're gonna mate them as normal as we normally would mate so for this I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a cylindrical mate I'm going to pick oops the cylinder here and I'm going to pick the cylinder here Okay, good. And then I'm going to use a planar mate. Where's my planar mate? Not parallel. I want plane. Planar mate. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the planar mate connection to, I want this top surface right there. And then I want this surface here. It goes to there for now, but when I hit check, it goes to where it is based on the other mate as well. Perfect. And then I'll do the same thing for this guy. I want a cylindrical mate, the cylinder and the cylinder, okay, check, and then I want a planar mate, 
I want the top plane here. Okay, it's going to be in line with this guy here. Check, and it should go. Perfect. Change this ISO. You get the idea. So we're able to add standardized content into our assemblies, and then it should push over to your drawings once they're uh, once they're inserted into our assemblies for on shape.